first thing I want to do is thank everyone for coming out this afternoon. It's just amazing to see uh, the number of people here today and, and supporting uh, our administration as we start off. And, and I, uh, I echo all the comments about uh, having a great team to work with. Uh, before I started to, to some of the comments, I, I too want to thank uh, my, my family, especially my wife, for all the support that she had been to me uh, during this campaign. My mother, who's also here today. Uh, and I uh, yesterday had a great privilege of attending a, a swearing-in ceremony also here in Dubois County of a very good friend of mine. And I'd like to welcome to our ceremony the, uh, the Mayor of Jasper, Indiana, Mr. Terry Sykes. Terry and I share so many stories that would be take hours uh, to, to cover. I think there's going to be an article in the newspaper this week, so remember to read this with a light heart because we were we were pretty open about it. So we we shared probably more than we should have. I don't think Candy Neal had a chance to ask a question. I think Terry and I just talked and we just you know. So, <laughs> so <clears throat> it was about a year ago in this room that I did announce my intentions to seek the office of mayor in Huntingburg, and on that snowy January day. I told my family and friends that I had decided to run for mayor because I strongly believe in our city and its future, and that I wanted to make, take this opportunity to give back to my community, the community that helped me become the person that I am today. I said there are times in your life when you just know you have to do the right thing. I announced the campaign for mayor would emphasize three points, and Amy talked about those, positivity, pride, and progress and that the focus of the campaign would be the strengths that I can bring to the office of mayor to effectively lead and guide our city. Over the course of the campaign, I learned quite a bit. Even though I have lived in Huntingburg all my life, I learned so much more about our city. And more importantly, I got to meet so many more people in our town. Through that experience, I've discovered there is great pride in our community. It confirmed my belief that Huntingburg is the type of community that has strong faith and strong values where families of all kinds can grow and prosper. Our city has many assets, a rich history, and an equally bright future. The people of Huntingburg have reasons for rightful pride in our city. I was fortunate to be a part of Team Huntingburg and learned about the importance of surrounding yourself with good people, providing positive leadership in accomplishing a goal. The candidates that joined me on the ticket, the campaign committee that supported us, and the people who came forward with advice and encouragement during the campaign have all contributed to prepare me for the office of mayor. During the numerous campaign committee meetings, there was always an op opportunity for open discussion and differing views. And believe me, there were differing views. <laughs> But we listened to each other. We listened to those outside the committee, and they helped us develop our plan. And once a decision was agreed upon, everyone came together and worked to achieve for the common good. This is a model that we will work for our administration. Today, we are all members of Team Huntingburg. Each of the elected officials taking the oath of office today have the responsibility to represent all the people of Huntingburg, those who voted for us, those who voted against us, and those who didn't vote at all. I heard one of the city employees say the other day, we have a new coach, and there are some similarities between being mayor and being a head coach. A person that has inspired me and is a model of leadership for me is former Indianapolis Colts coach, Tony Dungy. In his book, Uncommon, he talks about living a life of significance. And Coach Dungy wrote this, and I'll take it to heart today. God didn't create your life to be a series of accidents, accidents and coincidences. He knew before you were born that you would be where you are today. He knew that you would have the influence over those whom you do. And he already knows those you will impact down the line. Coach Dungy then quoted one of my favorite Proverbs, Proverbs 16.3. Commit your actions to the Lord and your plans will succeed. And he closed the section of that, that book with this. The verse does not say, 
exactly when we can expect that success. But success will come in the Lord's time. I come into this office expecting success and progress for Huntingburg. But success for our city can only be achieved as a result of each of us working together. I ask for your prayers and support for me, for all the elected officials here today, and for all those who strive to make Huntingburg a better place to live and work. I humbly accept the challenge and responsibility that this office and public service bring. I am honored by your trust. I promise to do my best to be worthy of that trust. There's a lot of work to be done, and I look forward to sharing this work with the council, with our able staff and the city employees, and with the people of Huntingburg, all of whom care very much about what happens in our city. Thank you very much. taken, but uh, you're welcome to stay for a reception, and uh, again, uh, I think Terry yesterday, when, when we showed up for his swearing in, they were setting up chairs, uh, we didn't expect a crowd like this today either, it's just uh, very heartwarming and supporting for all of us sitting here to see the support our city has for us, and we will continue to need to uh, seek that support as we continue on in these next four years, so thanks again, have a, enjoy the, the afternoon, and uh, again, thank you all for coming.